Hey guys, still crafts the lucky. And today I'm going to be doing Rainbow Room. And for today's tutorial, we are going to be making a very common, you probably know what this one is. It is the one, the only, the only. Balloon triple single. All right, and today to make this triple single bracelet, you're going to need some supplies. You can do, you're probably going to need about two. At least two separate colors. Like, like today, what I do because it's glitzy. It's it's glam Monday, so I'll be doing some clears and some sparkly bands. If you want to get in season, and you have sparkly bands for glam Monday, then please get those out be doing random glitzy colors so don't think you can do a pattern if you want but you don't have to so the first thing you're gonna need to do is turn your loom around so the arrow is pointing away from you but I like to do it this direction because I just want it so much first thing you're gonna want to do is place your first band second band, then your third band, and then so on. If you're doing the pattern through and you stumble upon a color that you already just did, or like like colors that, like if that was purple purple, then you should take that off so it looks better. That's just me, but if you want to do that, you can. Okay, so you get the idea. You're going to go all the way down the loom and to the center peg. But I'll show you all of that anyways. Because people that watched my channel that I knew were suggesting that I go through with that. And show the looping process. Or not the looping process, but you know what I mean. Right, so now your rain balloon board should look like that. And now we're going to do it all the way down the center to that pin, and then there all the way down to that pin. And I'll show you what to do next after that. Old style rain balloon. It is just black and white this dear. And then I put a piper and it's a loom with a hook and other things. I found this book with a million bands on it. And then I found an end with an arrow on it. Wait, it's over there now. And then I found out that I can do loom. And then there's two times and three times and four times. Alright, so now your board should look like this. If it doesn't, go back and fix it. But now we are going to add the triangles. Right. First, put your band there. It's kind of hard to see because I'm using clear. So it looks like a triangle. I'll show you that again. a triangle. Now keep on doing that down the loom until you reach right up about I think it's right about there. 
that you start with the triangles. Right, you should have all these triangles on your board. Now we're going to get to the loop. Sorry, my camera stopped the recording. But if you didn't see the cat band, I'll do it again. So, like that. Twist it into a figure eight. Put it back upon itself on your finger. And put it right on the end. Right there. I'm going to have a rock backed up. Now, what you're going to need to do, I'm going to prop up my camera, and prop it. Alright. It's kind of hard to do. Pull back the cap band, like that. over to its correct side. So now it looks like that. Then it should look like that. And then this, oh goodness, my cat band's coming up. Okay, so you get the idea. You have to loop all of these so they look like teardrops, and then we'll get to the next part. All right, and um, your first one should look like that. Let's look at the middle. Oh goodness, I'm doing this with one hand. So it's all kind of awkward. For me. I used to keep on doing it all the way up. Alright, so when it is all looped, it, sh it should look like this. Alright, and there's one more thing we have to do. Grab the color of hat band you used. Put it on your... Wait, 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 wait. I'm going all too fast with this. First, you put your hook, hook in through the top part right there. And then, all you have to do is take the color cat band, put it right there. I'll try get this as visible as possible and pull then uh, pull it right through it's natural with other bands accidentally get stuck and now we're gonna pull it off the room oh wait I have to put this on the thick part of my hook so it all stays together the triangles keep all together if you're wondering <laughs> and so it should look like this it is so pretty I love it and and it's it's just really pretty and now we just have to do the expansion which I like doing on my hook I find it easiest it needs to be about a four for a child. Um, it needs to be about five or six for actually a five for a preteen or a young teenager. And then like six, sevens, and eights are for adults. Anyway, so you can check out your wrist size and that. 
my friends, is how to make the, the Rainbow Loom triple single bracelet. Thanks for watching, and please suggest in the comments of what I should do next. Goodbye!